should also change the uh, the label of these, right? Because we still keep the previous one, who won where, and this is Republican votes. So I'm going to go to um, Shading Legend, instead of who won where is Republican vote, or votes for the Republican candidate, or votes for Donald Trump, or something like that, right? Republican vote percentage, okay? Now, let's just click on that, there you go. And now the map is ready, right? Um, I'm, we are going to go back over here because we are going to now we have the Republican votes map we are going to create another one for Democratic votes for that I can just duplicate the one that I have created so I'm going to go to the duplicate button over here copy of Republican votes we're going to change the name of that I'm going to click that to load the map change the name it should be Democratic votes what while it loads and then while it loads I could make some changes over here so for instance uh, we are going to load a different column of data right? so I'm going to go to the data file and instead of loading column O, which is the percentage of Republican votes, I'm going to round. I'm going to select column N, which is the percentage of, of Democratic votes. So I'm going to select here, change this to N, go back to Preview, and we're going to change the color palette. Um, first of all, I am going to change the shading, and instead of red, we are going to make it blues, right? Because it's Democratic vote, and we are going to change also the um, shading legend to Democratic. Vote, right? So democratic vote over here, and now we can go back, and we have already, you know, three maps that we can put together uh, on a story. Now, on the original story, if you remember, at the end I added like a random scatter plot showing the correlation between percentage of people who are African Americans, county by county, in comparison to the vote for for Hillary Clinton. So I wanted, I found interesting that, for instance, in in, in southern states, there's a very strong correlation between percentage of minorities in particular African Americans and percentage for the Demo percentage of vote for the Democratic candidates. So almost a very there's a very strong relationship. The more African Americans you have, the more vote for the Democratic candidate. Which is a relationship that is not that clear in other states. Take a look at California, for example. There's almost no relationship. Or Colorado, right? Arkansas, for instance, very strong relationship, right? Um, Georgia, very strong relationship. But in Florida, for example, the relationship is not that clear, right? So this is I found these this these series of charts quite uh, quite quite interesting, quite compelling, right? Uh, not, I mean, uh, we don't have an answer as to why this happens, right? But it, why, for example, in North Carolina, which is part of the South, we don't have that very strong correlation, right? The dots are much more dispersed. But remember that this is just to illustrate, um, I, I was not uh, expecting to answer any particular question with the data in this particular project. All that I wanted was to create a series of compelling graphics that I could put together into a random story that may be clickable. All right, so we could also create the bubble maps, by the way. We can do that before before we create the the, um, a, a, the scatter plot. So we're going to create the bubble maps first. So I'm going to click on New. For this, we are going to create a new map because we are going to load point data rather than um, a shade, shading data. So I'm going to click on the template that says uh, US counties. And in this case, um, while, while the, the, the map loads over here, uh, we are going to go to the right column and I'm going to say collapse appearance and expand shading. And I'm going to disable, actually it will be disabled by default, it's still, it's still loading. Um, uh, while it loads, I could just change this, for example, let's say that we want to do a Republican, number of Repub total Republican votes or something like that. We are going to disable land shading, so I'm going to just click on that, and then um, we are going to um, keep the uh, keep the, the the bubbles. All right, I'm going to just keep them there. Uh, we are going to go to the data, and on the data, instead of loading the data on the shading data uh, tab, we are going to load the data on the points data tab because now we are going to use point data. So I'm going to import my data, which you remember is county data mod to the modify file. And I'm going to select the columns. Uh, the I need to select the columns not in the shading area here, but on the points area. So I'm going to scroll down, points. Point name will be the name of the county, so that should be column B. Point latitude should be the, the it should be latitude is in column C. Then point longitude is column D. And then the point values, what I want to show is the total number of Republican votes, which will be column I. So I'm going to select I and click on return and when I go back I will get that um, a, a, that bubble map. Now we're, I'm going to do something similar to what I did before. I'm going to go to the points area 
change the maximum radius to 20. And then what I'm going to do is, instead of maximum value in current data, remember, we are going to do maximum value in all data. Because later, when we do the democratic vote, we may want these things to be a little bit a little bit consistent, okay? Um, a, otherwise, the, the Republican bubbles will look much more, much bigger than the, the Democratic bubbles. The field color should be red. I'm going to change the the, color, the field color to red because it's a Republican Republican map. And there you go. We are ready to go. We, this is the this is the bubble map, all right? So we can go back. And now um, we have the total Republican votes. I'm going to duplicate that because we're going to create create a total Democratic votes. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to change the name. Total democratic votes. The democratic. Let me see if I can load that. Democratic votes. Uh, before we load any data, I'm going to just change the values over here. So this is going to be a map that will use blue as the uh, main color because it's going to be a democratic vote. But we need to load a completely different. A perhaps this is not the blue that I will use for democratic. Perhaps it should be a little bit bluer. There you go. So I'm going to mix a color. You can use, by the way, different kinds of sliders, RGB, CMYK, right, like in other design programs. And now the data that I need to load, though, is not the Republican vote, obviously. So I'm going to go to data. Again, points data, right? We need to click on points data. It's the same data we were using before, but the column that we need to use instead of I should be H. So I'm going to go scroll down over here on the right, and instead of I, I'm going to select H. And click on return and there you go we have the map of democratic votes okay again using the maximum value in all data to measure all those uh, all those bubbles okay um, so we are ready to go I think and then finally I'm going to create the scatter plot that I showed you before that will be the last step right in this in the sequence uh, that I showed you before so I'm going to go to let's see democratic votes Republican votes sorry where am I oh here Republican votes, Democratic votes, total Republican votes, total Democratic votes, who won where. So we have all the elements that are for our story. I'm going to click on New. And we are going to do that, you know, semi-random scatter plot that I created showing um, a relationship between percentage of African Americans and percentage of Democratic vote. We could do the opposite, percentage of African Americans and percentage of Republican vote, right? It doesn't really matter. This is for the sake of doing the, doing the tutorial. You can correlate whatever you want, okay? This is just to practice. So now... We are going to go to the data, right? Import our data. We are going to import exactly the same file, country data mod two, whatever. I'm going to just upload that. And um, okay, so let's select the columns. The x value is going to be percentage of um, African Americans, which will be column um, a column U, black percentage. As you see, I didn't bother even changing these numbers into actual percentages. I remember how to do that. I explained that in a previous video. We are going to use just a column as it is. So x value is going to be u. Y values is going to be percentage of Democratic uh, vote or percentage of Republican vote. Doesn't really matter. So let's use uh, percentage of Democratic, for example, which will be column uh, n. All right, that will be Democratic vote. Okay, so I'm going to order. Let's use Republican just for the sake of argument. Oh, for just to change it, not for the sake of argument, but, but to change the. Uh, the parameters that we use here and make them a little bit more varied, all right? And then the name will be the name of the counties, right? So it's going to be um, column B. And then the color, well, I'm not going to color them, although we could color them by region, for example, if you wanted to, right? We could change the, the color by G, right? So it will color code the counties according by region. Now, if I go back, it's going to be a little bit of a mess, isn't it? So uh, what we're going to do is to, to subset the data, right? So I'm going to, we could keep the color coding if you want. Size, we are not going to use any size, although if you want to use population density, for example, we could try to do that. Right? So let, let's just practice a little bit. I'm going to just play around with these op options. I'm going to size the bubbles according to population density, which is Z, all right? And then the grid of charts, all right, will be the subdivision, okay? So let's subdivide the data by state, okay, which is, because right now the relationship is not very clear. Those relationships will become a little bit clearer when we subset by state, which is column A, E, sorry, E. That will be grid of charts, okay? We need to put E over here. I need to click on that, E, click on return, and what Flourish will do will be a sequence of a, a scatter plots like the ones that we had before. Now, these bubbles tend to be a little bit small, all right? So we can change the size if you want, all right? So uh, we can change the, the default size, make them bigger. We can change the, the circle. Uh, we can change the... the 
a, a maximum size. I don't know if this will affect these. Um, if, if I make, for example, this 1,000, let's make this 10,000 and see what happens. Because for some reason, there we go. So we, we, we change the number crazily, right, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 million. Let's see what happens over here. Well, that perhaps is a little bit too much. So let's do 500,000. Okay, there you go. That's a little bit too much. So let's keep it to 200,000. All right, so you can just play with the bubble sizes. This changes basically the total bubble size of all bubbles in the display. So you can immediately see which counties are more, uh, in, in which countries you have a higher population density. That would be bubble size. So let's call these, for example, relationships or whatever you want to call it, right? Just a random name, just a random name. And now if we go back, all the elements that we need for our story are ready. The only thing that we need to, give to, uh, to do to finish this exercise is to put them together in a story. 